What is going on everybody, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Thrance. Things are going pretty crazy right now. Oh my goodness, there's so many paratroopers. <laughs> um, things are going okay right now. They have landed a naval invasion, but I'm sure we'll drive them out. I'm sure it's going to be fine. There's plenty of divisions heading to this border where they accidentally got in. They are trying again. Dang it, stop invading me. Please. Yeah, they are trying again, but I uh, we drove them off. That's good. I'm considering invade something else. Um, let's just do it on the quiet for now. There we go. Uh, we have a lot of political power, okay? And, you know, Belgium are sitting here peacefully doing nothing. They're not in the Allies, which is weird. <laughs> um, obviously, that's who we're at war. What the heck is going on down here? Uh, I wonder what this was. I assume that's just where the UK isn't. Look at my one division. They're like, nah, we ain't dealing with that. Uh, which army are you again? And why is there two front lines? That is never a good plan. There you go. Just go to the one front line. Even though it's huge. <laughs> there is a lot of notifications up here. You see, when when I record a lot of videos in a row, I just sort of right-click them. And they all disappear. So let's, uh, let's do that. I don't need to know if we won or not. I'm sure it was fine-ish. Decisions available. Oh, blow the Suez Canal. We cannot allow it to use... We must therefore begin... We are not going to destroy it. We own it. <laughs> Improved worker conditions. Give refuge. We don't need to give them refuge. I'm sure they're fine in Germany. War propaganda. Again, we're not going to fight. Emergency. We don't need to do any of this stuff. We are at war. I am aware of this. Missing equipment production again. What are we missing? We're not missing anything. Why is it telling me there's none of these? I mean, I'm aware there's no factories assigned. Is that why? Because... Equipment required for air reinforcements. Carrier fighter. Oh, am I building the wrong thing? I might be building the wrong thing. I think I need this instead. Uh, either way, we have no divisions. Uh, divisions? Factories to go on it. And I just clicked away the research button. Didn't want to do that. We could make more tanks. That would always be interesting. We are mostly using light tanks, so I guess we should go for these instead. They're sort of the next one up from what we've already got. Have we got them surrounded? We do. We must rally behind the cause. Questions Belgian sovereignty. Yeah, Belgium. You don't... No. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, no. My... There we go. You ready? I think you're ready. Large river crossing. No, there's... There's only for some of them. Also, they are trying to break out, so now would be a good time just to, you know, get on with this and drive them out. Oh, we drove them out. There we go. Good job. Uh, where is not protected very well? Okay, down here is not protected very well, but they invaded here, so let's... No, not there. There. Not there. There we go. Protect that area. I'm sure it will go fine. Our, our border just looks... Our coast looks very well for... Actually, everywhere is now fortified. Okay, that's why we look... There's a couple... There's no one-off provinces now. That's good. Okay, there is one there, but we'll ignore that one. Not anymore. Thank you, paratroopers. Um, I'm kind of... You know what? I think I trust Italy enough. Someone inv suggested invading Gibraltar. I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I, I'm going to try to take Belgium. Honestly, as soon as I declare war, it'll be the... Join the big war and Germany will just pick them off. And it will be more coastline for me to defend. <laughs> I love how me and Germany just we know this isn't we know this isn't built to last. We both still got troops on this border. I mean, I've only got I've still got forty eight divisions on this border, so that's okay. I've got another twenty four on the Italian border. I'm tempted to garrison them here just in case because I could see like a U.S. naval invasion coming from down here. In fact, I am going to do that now because it's more than likely. Yeah, oh, okay, That's just, that sucks. Um, hang on, if you do that side of the river, and then one of these armies, this one, you are going to come and do the other side. I'm sure Germany won't invade me, or I'll keep an eye on it. Like, if, obviously, I'd see their national focus is, you know, they're about to declare war on me, I will know it's coming, and we'll deal with it as such. And you guys, uh, new front line, no. What the heck is... No. Uh, take me back. Take me back to the normal menu, please. Okay, front line. There we go. Just stay there. You're a bit more spread out, but 
I'm sure it'll be fine. So we will be losing our extended Magino line, but that won't be an issue. We can always fall back to it if we need to. Okay, let's see. That looks a lot better. Now we're secure, or at least more secure down here in the south. I wouldn't call it particularly secure. So a lot of these divisions aren't actually moving. I think they're... I think it's just going to... Yeah, that's fine. But they'll deal with any issues. That looks a whole lot better. Probably. Let's see what everyone is doing. What is the UK up to? Fighter Command. Yeah, Germany is still doing Enigma. Stalin is doing this. Yep, cool. Let's see. Still liking this Bulgaria, even though they're in the Axis. Research Treaty with Italy. You really need one of those? German military cooperation. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go have a look down here. Stalin oh, has left me behind because I was paying no attention at all to what was going on. Offensive line. I want... No, that is not what I want. I want to draw an offensive line. Why is the game not letting me... You have to create a front line for... I already have created a front line game. Take all of that land for me. Go. Divisions, you've marched the whole way here. These divisions are like having a great time. They get to explore all of Africa. What more could they want? Alongside their Soviet buddies. Some of whom get to drive around in tanks, which is probably more fun. Um, I love how we just gone... You know, this was mine before. This was... Britons. Um, I mean, Stalin is also going after East Africa. He wants everything. He he definitely wants everything. Maurice Forez angered by Belgian postering. Yep, we're getting ready for this. Manhattan Project. That is terrifying. Can you not nuke me, please? America. I'm sure you'll nuke other people first, but still. How is this war? This is a crazy war. Let's just have it. I think this is this one. Germany. Slovakia, Italy, Romania, Bulgaria, Japan, Mengjiang, Siam, China, Shaanxi, Yan State, Zhebei, Sanmar, Free State, Manchukuo, Provisional Government of China, Chile, Soviet Union, French Commune, Xinjiang, and Mongolia. Also, we've only had 86,000 losses, a lot less than Stalin, just want to point that out. Against Poland, Yugoslavia, who are both capitulated. Only All that's left is British Raj, the UK, Australia, Canada, another Chile, Honduras, New Zealand, Philippines, South Africa, and the US, who have already lost 300,000 men. UK have lost 1.29 million. Italy have lost 1.29 million as well. Ironically, Germany have lost half a million as a Stalin. So, so far, it's looking, so, it's looking pretty good. Our losses are 1.2 million less than theirs. And our manpower, fielded manpower, is about three times what they possess. So, doesn't get much better than this. Now what do we go for? Now what? Let's get... We want a light tank producer, which is not one of the options, annoyingly. So let, let's go for that. I don't know. I mean, reliability down, but build. we can build more. That, that sounds like a plan. Can you stop trying to land stuff over here? I see you. Hmm. How many divisions will we need? Nucle you don't need this stuff, Belgium. You you really don't need that stuff. Also, how long is my... Okay, we're only 38 of 100 days. Oh my goodness. That's going to take forever. Okay, we've got seven new divisions here. Go join up with this blue army. Don't know if there's any more divisions. The paratroopers pop up in a really weird spot, so I'll probably forget about them a lot. <clears throat> there's a few paratrooper divisions out there right now. I don't really know what to do with them. Because at the moment, I'm kind of just waiting for stuff. I'm not really sure what is going on. I mean, the main fighting is literally in Africa. Stalin is not making that. Actually, he might be making more of an effort now. He's not really pushed into Raj. Japan is in this too. But yet to... Yet to we reap any rewards from it all. But it's it's doing pretty well. We are... I think they don't... This is going to be the issue. The US is going to be the problem. I'm sure the UK is doable. I mean, at the moment, I'm just letting them burn manpower by, you know, trying to evade me. Invade me. Not evade. Blow the Suez Canal. No, regional-wide industrial integration. Yeah, let's do that. I have spare stuff. We must rally behind this cause. Yeah, I know. But there's still ages to go, so stop notifying me about it every five minutes. We will crush their bourgeoisie dictatorship. Okay. Um, yeah. 
yeah, democracy. That that's such a bad thing to have. Let let's invade them. And also the Netherlands will be next, of course, because you know we want we just want everything. And also Danish civil union. Are you going to ever join the uh, common turn? I see you are supporting Guangxi Kli of every nation you could possibly support. Communist Switzerland are doing the grand definition of nothing. So, you know, obviously it's not the idiot. Spain. What the hell is this? Why is there British units divisions in your land? You are communist, believe it or not. You're on our team. We also have an non-aggression pact. You shouldn't be letting Britain in. I don't think they are there. I think it's the units down here. It is. Yeah, I was going to say, that would have been very annoying. Oh my goodness, Stalin, stop sending this much stuff. Like, I appreciate the effort, but it's really not going to help you in the long run. Having this many... Like, if Germany decides to flip to inv befriend Iran, I mean, that that's not an issue. That is just his way of getting to India, isn't it? Because he wants to beat Stalin, probably. But yeah, I mean, at the moment, we're not under any threat from Germany. They haven't gone prepared to invade France. I don't know where, uh, where is invading Russia? Invade Iran. He did invade Iraq. I mean, Stalin did it for him. Where on earth is, I don't even see where invading Stalin is, so it's not happening. He's still doing this. We actually now get a new national focus. Let's see, what can we go for? Maybe we should change things up a little bit. What does this do? Conversion cost down, develop Indochina. Well, I know long I could do develop Tunisia. Oh, we could go, does this go towards nukes? Yes, nuclear technology. We should probably, you know, go that way. Because, sadly, the US obviously feels it necessary to do that. So we should probably do it too. Either way, how are we doing down here? We are actually losing, which is quite unbelievable. But, whatever. Wait, no, don't go. Don't go. Stop. T don't start. We're not ready. I thought we were ready. We're not. It's because Stalin keeps pushing the board, the uh, front line further forward. My troops can't even catch up to get involved. But he's making progress. He's about to go push through Ethiopia down here, which obviously started this war out under Italian control. Didn't, didn't last very long, but he tried, and uh, Britain is now completely stopped by the look of it in terms of naval invasions, which is somewhat nice. Also, we have a ton of naval experience, which I think means we're doing well, because, like, army experience, 146, naval is almost at 1,000. So air, I imagine we're doing terrible, army, uh, navy, apparently we're doing good. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but that doesn't look good. But this green, that's, I know I have some boats there. There's a lot more green on this entire map than there is, like, for the few blotches of red. And the English Channel is only temporarily red. Air-wise, there's a lot of red over here, but it's okay. <laughs> they may have loads of planes in the UK, but they're running out of people to fly them. So, you know, it's all going to be good. Coastal Command, yeah, he does not want to be invaded. Does he? Mr. Churchill doesn't want to be invaded. Where would be a good place to land? I guess Portsmouth. Maybe Dover. Maybe we could go for the surprise show up in Plymouth. I don't know, but... I'm going to wait. Once Germany's decide... I mean, he must be so powerful, by the way. Just, just pointing out, Germany here, they must be incredibly strong. Because they've not really done anything. Like, it's not like a normal game where they've been fighting all these wars they've literally in terms of actual going to war they have fought Poland and a bit of Norway that is it so he must be ridiculously strong right now but I imagine Stalin is getting you know the longer he's alive the better I mean the fact he's given all this land to me doesn't mean anything too much hey Saudi Arabia do you want to join you could help go after this UK stuff I hope you're actually gonna go fascist probably just, just what we need. Oh, how's the effort in Mexico going? Mexico is now, what percentage? 26%. I mean, they're getting there. 33% democratic, 11% fascist. It's, it's the biggest, no, it's not the biggest one. But it's getting there. 
But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.